On tonight's Celebrity Corner Season 2 finale, our show is going to the dogs. I'm joined by a celebrity dog groomer who's worked with A-list stars from Miley Cyrus to Giselle. And I'm catching up with two stars from the hit show Orange is the New Black, which returns for a second season June 6th. Plus, much more. Entertainment editor, Dorothy Cassisari. Here to discuss that and more is Dorothy Cassisari. Pay attention to every word Dorothy says. Hey, I'm Wayne Brady, and I'm here with the beautiful Dorothy Cassisari here on Celebrity Corner. Welcome to Celebrity Corner. I'm Dorothy Cassisari. My first guest has been featured on the Animal Planet show, Groomer Has It. He's been a judge on TLC's Extreme Poodles, and he has worked with some of the most pampered pooches in Hollywood, whose owners include Miley Cyrus, Giselle Bündchen, Beth Ostrovsky, and many more. Please welcome celebrity dog groomer, Jorge Bendersky, and the ridiculously cute Tito, who's standing up. He, he wants to stand and be seen. <laughs> welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. Thank you for bringing this adorable little creature. I know, he goes everywhere. He's like a little ambassador of good looks. Yes, he is. Yes, yes he is. He takes after his owner, right? Uh. <laughs> So I might become a dog napper, this, this show. I mean, he's just so cute, I want to take him home with me. And he doesn't seem to mind it. <laughs> so Jorge, you have such an interesting background. First of all, you're the author of a book. What is it called? Do It Yourself Dog Grooming. Yes, from puppy cuts to best in show, and it's available on Amazon.com, on Barnes & Noble. And you know, it is a book to teach pet owners and pet lovers how to take better care of yourself. You know, mama monkey, groom's baby monkey, and like, <laughs> that's the way they show love. Of course. So I wanna be sure that everybody knows that, you know, more we do for our dogs, maybe on your future dog, you will know what to do. And if you wanna go and volunteer at a shelter, more you know, more you can do. Are you talking about my future dog, Tito, who I'm going to take home with me later today? We can talk about it. <laughs> so so you, if you have one dog grooming secret, I mean, you, you work with all these celebrities, but your one dog grooming secret is interesting where you buy products last minute if you're traveling and you forget them. It's always a last minute call, so I usually ended up at Walmart. At Walmart. I'm like, you know, yeah, yeah, I charge a store yeah. normal call prices, but you know what? Walmart have some of the most affordable, great quality products. You know, I use the wall home products for quick fixes and, you know, either Tito get his flea and tick products from Pet Armor Plus that, you know, keep it away, keep all the fleas and ticks away from the summer. You know, I always run to Walmart. So our viewers can definitely attain the same kind of dog grooming level that the celebrities are getting to. You don't need to have deep, deep pockets. It's not about money, it's about love. About it's about love. dancing <laughs> with your dog. And what's not to love about this little guy? Oh, he's I know losing he's his pants. pants. That's how much uh -oh. love Uh-oh, blow, blow that out. We're getting <laughs> X-rated here. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about some of the big celebrities that you've worked with. Uh, Miley Cyrus is one of them. Her poor, there's her dog Floyd who passed away. He died recently, right? I know, and, that's very sad. And, and what was it like working with Miley? Can you talk uh, about it? No, ah. let's, next. I, you know, let's, so I, I, working with celebrities, a lot of times it's about confidentiality. But, but at least just tell us, I mean, when she walks her dog down the street, is she twerking the whole time? Is, is, her, is her tongue hanging out? I mean, can't you imagine Miley like twerking down the street with the dog? She has a couple of very sad <laughs> dogs that they usually move their behinds when they walk. So I think they do the twerking. She teaches her dogs how to twerk. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Now, um, you know, what's sad about, you know, some of the dogs that you've worked with is that dogs just don't live as long as humans. So uh, everyone has lost a dog at some point or knows someone who's lost a dog. And, and uh, you worked with uh, Beth Ostrovsky, who's married Howard Stern and her dog Bianca, what a cute dog. But oh but um, but what was that like working with Howard Stern and Beth Ostrovsky? You know, she's amazing. The care that she took of Bianca, it was amazing. And now she actually she opened a foundation on Bianca's name that is called Bianca's Furry Friends, that she's raising tons of money mm -hmm. f to help other dogs. So you know what? The dogs live on our lives for a short period of time, but what they teach us and what they encourage us to do is just move forever. Of course, no, you're right. And I've interviewed Beth Ostrowski before, and she's very big into animals and pets and things like that. I think she's fabulous. Now, another famous woman that you worked with, another beautiful woman, Giselle Bunchen and her dog, Vita. What a little cutie. What was that like? Is this, oh is this pre Tom Brady? Uh, Yes, yes, Pretty that was, Brady. yes, okay. and one little secret, Vida used to sleep on her pillow, Aww. so, you know, Vida has to smell 
impeccable <laughs> every day because she would sleep next to her head. So I would get those frantic calls that beat I need a bath ASAP, and there it goes and Jorge, runs to Walmart, pick up some, <laughs> you know, <laughs> some war products and just wipe a little Vita. Um, there, were, there were probably a lot of men that wanted to be Vita and sleep on Giselle's pillow with her, I bet. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure they were. <laughs> okay, so Jorge, I want to play a fun game with you and test your knowledge of some famous dogs, okay? okay. So we don't want to, you know, put you on the spot, but let, let's see how you can do, okay? Now, okay. celebrities... Uh, celebrities are always Instagramming photos of, of their pups, which we love. Um, so let's start with first, um, okay, let's see this photo of our first pups. Now your clue is, Tom Cruise once tried to set up a play date between his daughter, Suri, and these two adorable King Charles Spaniels, Harley and Lexi, who belong to his Rock of Ages co-star. Who is their famous owner? I don't know, the dogs look cute, but they look ungroomed. So I would think that the, whoever is, it has a very rocky hairstyle because the dog looks kind of messy. Well, we know that their dog groomer is definitely not Jorge Benderski, right? Definitely, definitely no, no. Okay, the answer is Julianne Huff, and there she is. Tom Cruise just loved these dogs and he wanted to set a, his little daughter up on a play date. Aren't they so cute? I know, but well, she's spinning so fast that maybe that is what is making the dog's hair right, fly exactly. all over. <laughs> exactly. Okay, okay, let's try these two. Uh, next picture. These two Portuguese water dogs, Bo and Sunny, have their own Wikipedia pages and live in a very white house. Who do they belong to? I know who they belong to. I know I don't really want to groom them. This is one of the hardest breeds to groom. Oh. But of course, they are the Obama dogs. The Obamas, you right, know. correct. <laughs> Why are they so hard to groom? Oh, they have Curly a very hair. hard hair. And you know, I love them and there's a beautiful dogs, but the old gosh. And I don't want to pick up after them. They're too big. That's too much, okay. Yeah. All right, uh, last one. Let's see, next photo. Okay, this singer, a self-proclaimed proclaimed cat lover, recently became the proud owner of Butters and refers to him as her Prism World Tour mascot. Do you know who the order is? I know she could use a do-it-yourself dog grooming book. <laughs> <laughs> that is as far as I can go, but I, I have no idea. And you know, the dogs are my celebrities. Who owns them? It's just you don't, you the don't mind. The ones who the check. There it is, it's Katy Perry and oh. I right? read a tip about Katy Perry yeah. on her last video, the little, uh, the Jiffy, that is a little Pomeranian that is jumping around, I give him the, his first style. You did? Uh-huh. Is it her dog or it's just a dog in the video? No, it's a dog that she saw on YouTube and she contact and say, I want that dog on the video. And that was uh, one of the dogs that I cr I set this time. You for. are a celebrity in your own right, Mr. Banderski. Oh, the dogs are the celebrities. <laughs> and little Tito is a celebrity too. He was uh, doing a big ad campaign. Did he replace a big celebrity, Jennifer Lopez? I know, I know, yeah. Tell it went us. to the dogs, twos, international. He did a huge campaign. Nobody knew he was going to be a prop and he took over <laughs> worldwide. So you can follow him at at Tito the Palm and Tito the Palm, one adorable little puppy. All right, well, thank you so much for being on the show. And thank you to Tito. Thank you. <laughs> Up next, the popular Netflix series Orange is the New Black returns for a second season June 6th. And I'm chatting with two of the show's stars. Do not go away. <laughs> Welcome back to Celebrity Corner. I'm Dorothy Cassisari. So the hit Netflix original series, Orange is the New Black, about a drug smuggler sentenced to 15 months in a women's federal prison is coming back June 6th for a second season. The show is so popular that one of its stars, Laura Prepon, recently confirmed a third season via an Instagram photo that sent fans into a tizzy. I had the chance to catch up with two of the show's stars, Adrian Seymour and Vicky Jude, who revealed some behind the scenes secrets. Take a look. Three, two, one, go! Well, congratulations on Orange is the New Black. Thank you. What an amazing hit the show is. How has it been, you know, life-changing for you? Um, it gives me employment. No, I was playing. But uh, honestly, I work with a group of amazing women every day. The cast, the crew. The producers, the writers, everyone is, is it's a really a team effort. And for that, I'm inspired to come in and work and put my my all into it every day. That's <laughs> 
It's just so much fun being on set. Like, I have no complaints. Our castmates were always laughing, we're twerking, we're playing video games, we're doing the jump rope. We're, we are just a mess on set, but it's so much fun. Everybody get up. share a little behind the scenes uh, story about something funny that might have happened with some of your castmates? Any funny stories? Oh my goodness. Because it sounds like you have a lot of fun. One time, um, Leah Delari, who plays Big Boo, showed up with a wedding dress that was maybe five sizes smaller than her, and she wore it around set and ended up making a video when, when they were doing the, um, what's that video, the Harlem Shake video? Yeah, we did a Harlem Shake video, and that's what, that's what her outfit was. And it fit her, surprisingly. <laughs> well, it sounds like you have a ton of fun on screen, and can't wait to see what's in store next season. Sounds like they have a lot of fun behind the scenes, and I know I will definitely be tuning into season two. Coming up, you tweeted your burning fashion questions about styles celebs are rocking, like this mini bag Emmy Rossum is toting, and our very own Celebrity Corner stylist is here with answers. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to Celebrity Corner. I'm Dorothy Cassisari. When it comes to the latest trends, even the biggest fashionistas among us have questions about how to wear them and what to buy. So I asked you, the viewers, to tweet me your burning fashion questions, and here tonight with all the answers is Celebrity Corner stylist and blogger Jessie Haliva of TrendHungry.com. Hi. Hey, how are you? Great. <laughs> I'm excited to get into the reader questions because I identified with a lot of these. Okay, um, first up, we have from Antoinette at My Fashion Fashion, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, at Dorothy on TV. So bored with my shoe collection. It needs a major update. What's the one must-have shoe for summer? Hashtag shoe lover. Don't we all kind of feel that way from time to time? Yes, totally. You get in your routine of the same shoes and you want something new. So what do we have for summer that's the hot Okay, look? I it's called see-through. Okay, so think of mesh. We've seen a lot of celebrities wearing mesh in their outfits, but also in their shoe wear. So it's not just for tops and skirts. I mean, no, we're, no. we're doing it for shoes. Even for your feet, you want to show a little bit. Just show a little. So yeah, we're showing a lot of mesh in shoes. We've seen Rita Ora wearing the trend. Um, she was wearing a pair of Louboutins, and we've seen other celebrities wearing them as well, but you don't have to break the bank to do so. Lulus.com has a ton and you know not even just under 100 under 50. Oh my gosh that's so mm -hmm. great because the Louboutins are something like two thousand right? dollars yeah yeah <laughs> and and it's interesting because I feel like Christian Louboutin does set the trend but mm -hmm. um, this mesh idea is is nice because for summer it's always about kind of less coverage less right? coverage exactly it's a great way you know to show a little bit but also not be in a sandal so here's a cute black pair with the ankle strap we have a crochet which has mesh this is a more casual look and then I love the mint green we're seeing this color a lot and on the side you have like the mesh panels yes the so sheer just the little panels mm -hmm. okay Okay, so it's all about mesh, see-through, sheer, whatever you want to call mm -hmm. it. I like it. Less, less is definitely less is more, more for summer. Okay. For sure. Twitter question number two is from reader at Mermaid Lifestyle. At Dorothy on TV, I want to try cro the crop top trend so many celebs are wearing but need some guidance on the right one to wear. Any advice? Don't we all need guidance on this yes, trend? It's, yes. it's outside of a lot of people's comfort zones, mm -hmm. right? Oh, I hear you, girlfriend. I mean, <laughs> even for myself, I was a little nervous wearing crop tops. We've seen so many celebrities wearing crop tops. Even at the Met Gala, we saw Rihanna wearing it on the red carpet. So we've seen them in loose styles, tight styles, red carpet styles. My tip is, you know, less, I know we're saying less is more, but we want the crop top to not show too much skin. Okay. So it's really about highlighting your waist. I'm wearing a crop top right now. As you can see, I have a high-waisted skirt. And if you're feeling uncomfortable, like it's too much skin, maybe put something over it. So I've got a kimono. This is all lulus.com. And I brought you some cute tops to show as well. So okay. there's so many styles. This top, I'm sorry, it. it looks like something my eight-year-old niece would wear. Okay, I think this is super cute. I think someone like I Iggy think it's Azalea cute, but I couldn't it. wear it. <laughs> okay, so that's one style. There's also loose style. So there's really so many ways you could do this. Okay, wear it with high waisted jean shorts. But the whole the whole thing with the crop top is that you're not supposed to be showing the part of your stomach on beneath the belly button. It's Correct. more about 
It's more about the part of your torso above, mm -hmm. like the skinny part. So yes. if, if you have, you know, a huge meal, a burger or something, and you mm -hmm. have that little pouch, which I get like all the time, basically, um, no. <laughs> it's okay. You can still wear the crop tops. You can totally still wear it. We've seen Kim Kardashian. It's really, you know how you put a belt on to highlight your waist? It's the same thing. We're drawing attention to the waist, just showing a pinch of skin. Okay. And then for you, you put the kimono on mm -hmm. as kind of like an added Added layer. coverage. Yeah, you could still see I have a figure. I mean, I'm wearing a short skirt, but I didn't want to be too revealing. So the kimono really helps me out with that. It gives a little added coverage. So if you throw something else on, you can wear the crop top. If you're a little bit scared, something else yeah. might kind of Add like make a, you more a comfortable. Add like a chambray top, something like that. Add okay. an extra layer. Okay, I like that. Maybe I'll try a crop top. Like 10 you years, should, like 10 years no. ago, I would have tried it. You're wearing it tomorrow. <laughs> okay, fine, tomorrow. Okay, qu Twitter to question number three. This is from at Carly Christina. Okay. At Dorothy on TV, I'm sick of lugging around my big black winter bag and don't know what to get next. What should I look for? Hashtag bag snob. Oh, I hear you, girlfriend. This is one that everybody relates to, right? Mm -hmm. Because winter, we have these huge bags. Yes, you're usually used to carrying black. everything. Mm -hmm. and, and so what are we looking for for summer? It's weighing you down. For summer, you know, you want to go light, airy. So I'm all about the mini bag. It's really to fit your essential items. So do a crossbody mini bag. This is something that you're going to be able to wear to concerts, going out for nighttime. And you know, it's about fitting the essentials. So your cell phone, your lipstick, and Emmy Rossum uh, has has been seen. I mean, that's just yeah. one celeb that's been seen. Emmy Rossum has been seen wearing it. A number of other celebrities, and I like the long strap so if you could do it as a crossbody bag and they're really sleek and elegant too so we have a pillbox clutch here and then two other sleek ones as well with the, very with the very chain. cute and, yeah. and I see that kind of the summer colors we have like past some mm -hmm. pastels we're right. seeing Peach, the, white. The, pipe, the pops of color, yeah. We're seeing a lot of black and white and also those big, bright pops of color. So the, the whole theme here seems to be less is more. We have the shoes yes. that are sheer that you can see the feet through. You have the bags that are tiny that and probably don't hold all that much, but they look really trendy and fabulous. Mm -hmm. And of course, you have the crop tops, which is, you know, yeah. kind of like the, the next thing up from a bikini top, I would say. It's a little more coverage than a bikini <laughs> top. Yeah, yeah. Well, Jesse, thank you so much. Oh, thank and you. Uh, viewers can check out Lulu's Instagram because you and I are going to be yeah. taking it over this taking weekend. It over. Oh, yeah. Get them back to some back behind the scenes footage. Behind the scenes footage from Celebrity Corner. Well, thank you so much. And thank you for styling me all Aww, season. Thank You've you. done such a fabulous job. It was so much fun. Stay tuned because up next, we're taking a look back on some of the most memorable moments from season two. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Celebrity Corner. I'm Dorothy Cassidy. So as you all know, tonight is our season two finale. And what a season it has been. We put together a little recap, a little look back on the season of some of our most favorite moments. And we want to share it with you. So take a look. I'm ready, boys. Isn't this a great way to start off season two? <laughs> side bend, uppercut, side bend, uppercut. All right. And then, and then we're going to repeat. Okay, I won't do the squat part. Squat. No free shows tonight. So when you do the... <laughs> <laughs> so you can actually leave this on your face for about 10 minutes, watch your favorite show, watch Celebrity Corner. Oh yeah. Leave it on your face. That's your favorite show, right? Of course it is. And then... I just ruined my carpet, but that's fine. I just texted Justin also, right, right, just yeah, to wish him a happy birthday, yeah, you know? Yeah, good, I'm glad. Make sure he gets it again, too. Make sure I said, because he never returned my text message. Well, he always returns mine right away. I see you. <laughs> of course. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Thanks, Justin. I appreciate it. Anyway, thank you so much. Really. I wish I had Justin Timberlake's number in my phone and could just text him easily. <laughs> the orange look doesn't go too great with like a ghost white pale skin, right? Yeah, you don't want to be ghost not, not that you're ghostly. ghost white and pale. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want to disrespect our audience yeah. members in this way. Anything for you, Dorothy. <laughs> Well, we, we don't we don't want to make him suffer too bad, so we'll we'll let him we'll let him go off camera while I sit down, and we'll we'll check in with him in just a little bit. I'll be like, hello, guys, this is Jennifer Francis. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll do. Hi, this is Jennifer Francis. Can I speak with this girl? I know. And I'll get her attention, and before she has a chance to hang up, I'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> and then before I know it, I'm out of air. And oh, you know Kate Blanchett hit it hard later oh, at the you know after parties. <laughs> I mean, come on now. Her her acceptance speech, I was like, wow, this woman has yes. a lot more sass than I thought. Yes, she does. Anyway, okay, sorry, mm -hmm. makeup. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting off topic. My husband golfs. I don't know anything about golf, so I asked, what is the 19th hole, and what is it? 
The 19th, well, every golf course has 18 holes, and the 19th hole is always referred to as the bar. So that's where you would find me if I was on the golf course. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I'll meet you at the 19th hole. You guys are I my mean, mirror. I don't have a mirror either right now, so hopefully it's looking okay. Do I look like I'm a part of a gang, or does okay, it actually you... look fashionable? No, no, okay. Can you substitute the water for champagne in this one also? If you want to. I, I might want to do that. Absolutely. From now on, I'm boiling spaghetti and champagne instead of water. And it creates a really powerful, dynamic cocktail. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> to Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. Poor Leo. Always Hashtag a bridesmaid, Leo. never a bride. <laughs> exactly. Why are you playing for Valentine's Day? Well, you tell me. You gonna take me out? I see what you did there. You know it's the same person every month that comes in, like an out-of-town yeah. businessman from Hong Kong or something that orders it. He lives for that $1,000 omelet every month. Uh, She's about to have Dorothy so Cassisari on here. Dorothy on there. That's definitely the most famous and, one. Um, Especially in yeah. terms of the music industry. Exactly. I mean, my career is going to take off now, right? But I don't know if I'm going to go back to a brunette because I'm actually really a little brunette, but no one really knows that until now. <laughs> just um, between me. Yeah. Right, just, just between you and I. All right, I'm already getting out of breath. <laughs> you can pull it back to the side. Oh, okay, I like that idea. No, yeah. you'd never say that. Yeah, I like, I like to sit. Miley said to her, you know, I have to find a way to get rid of this whole uh, Hannah Montana persona and break out of my shell. And I think it's fair to say that she has succeeded. Welcome to our show. Oh, um, it's such a gift to be here. I'm really psyched. Thank you, Darcy. You're so welcome. You're... May I call you Darcy? You absolutely should. What else would you call me? Right. <laughs> she says at least twice a day she wishes that she had smaller boobs. I mean, don't we always wish we could have what we don't have and what we do have? We don't want that either, right? Is that just part of being a woman? I mean, I don't understand. Your goal is not to teeter your shoulders. Sit nice and tall, keep your shoulders back. You got it. I don't and even know what my feel. shoulders are doing right now. But yep. everything's shaking. If that's teetering, then I'm, I'm teetering. <laughs> has hosting your own show been harder than you imagined? Or is it as glamorous as it looks? <laughs> well, Renee M., I'm so glad that you think it looks so glamorous because it's a lot of work. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much for allowing me into your homes every Thursday night. Thank you so much to the crew, the Celebrity Corner team. Thank you to everybody that made the show possible. It was so much fun. And follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at DorothyOnTV. And stay tuned, because I'll be announcing some really exciting things soon. And thank you to Zoom Interior, my, uh, my set uh, design. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys soon.